Welcome to episode uh, number two of uh, the I Can Feed People channel on YouTube, presenting Leanna Echeverry's Organic Christmas Dinner. Organic Vegan, right? Organic Vegan Christmas Dinner. <clears throat> Very nice. And ladies and gentlemen, from Etsy.com, uh, look her up. Grateful Threads is the name. Uh, she does organic uh, custom-made clothes. She does upcycled clothes uh, on there. All kinds of great self-made stuff. But, um, so uh, that's on Etsy.com. Uh, Grateful Threads is the name. And this is Leanna Echeverry. She's Merry Christmas. She's the creator, the designer, the photographer, multimedia artist. And I'd, I'd have to say a, one of the... Uh, you know, this year's independent business success stories. That's what I would say. I'm glad you would say that. So did you have a great year? I great, did. Did you have a great year leading Grateful Threads into new heights? Yeah, it was a good year. Was a good year. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Leanna. Merry Christmas, Zach. Okay, so here we go. This was the organic uh, Christmas dinner. It's going to be tomorrow. We've been doing this for since yesterday, right? So it's yeah, three days of preparation. Up, I've already been up for, I don't know. I got up and I just started. But it's a lot of prep, more than anything. Uh, so what we're going to start with is, we're going to start with the red sauce, which I'm going to use for the lasagna that I'm making. And I'm going to start the soup, the Italian bean soup. So... Um, we're going to go over here and we're going to mm -hmm. start to saute in two pans. So we're going to make the sauce first? We're going to make sauce and soup. Now I'm going to saute these things at the same time in each pan. This is, uh, is onions and a whole bunch of fresh garlic chopped up. So we're going to saute these things in a little bit of oil. And while we're doing that, I'm going to puree some fresh tomatoes to start the sauce. So come on over here. I got the pans heated up already. I used organic olive oil for this, which is right here. So, uh, you start it on the low heat, or yeah, a... this is I heated the pan up on like three, which was even mm -hmm. still a little bit too hot. Well, that's because we're using stainless steel pans. We use iron pans. I'm gonna get the other rather one. than aluminum ones. Uh, or other types of Teflon materials, those are very, you find them very toxic. These stainless steels are probably the least toxic, and the irons are the least toxic metals to heat up and cook with. They're great pans, we suggest you get them. Get rid of all your aluminum and Teflon pans and go stainless steel and iron. You won't regret it. And make your food taste fantastic. Anyway, saute the onions and garlic here, organic, in some nice uh, oil. At about mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. on the heat, not too hot. And over here, this is so. This is what you're, what you're sauteing in here in this pan. This is going to be for our red sauce. That's the red sauce, and then this one. And then that one is going to be for our soup. So, that, so, so if you're saying you're going to make your soup, you saute your veggies in there. You can saute some veggies in, like in the very in the very sauce pan. You're going to make it in. A lot of times I'll saute uh, some of the celery as well. So I'm going to throw in there now. I've got some all celery. my veggies cut up. There's some celery in here. I'm really hungry now. I've been cutting up this stuff all morning and I'm just like, I know how amazing it's going to taste. So. Okay. When you saute it, it gives it a different flavor. I really like the garlic, especially sautéed. This is a nice kind of a roasted garlic flavor. Nice. Okay, so let's let this happen for a little bit. Also gives it that Italian flavor. It does, and if necessary, you can add a little more oil to this. This is going to be delicious. I'm actually going to add a little salt. We got some. So what? What do you got here in this? In this here, we got fresh mushrooms. Oh, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Don't jump ahead. Just give me one minute. Well, while you're there, I'll just gonna say what's there, and then you then cauliflower mushrooms. 
all cut up there. Maybe for our soup. And what did you just put in there? Some fresh... Uh, Some sea salt. Sea salt. Unrefined. Unrefined. Which means it hasn't been to a factory and baked or anything. So it should be right from the ocean uh, shore. Baked in the sun. And uh, that makes it a complete food, which is the opposite of ripped and strip salt, which is you shouldn't probably have any of it. But the sea salt is delicious, and it's great food. Fresh great tomatoes. Food. These are plum tomatoes, organic. I bought these at the farmer's market. I'm going to add just a dash of water in here to get it started in the Vitamix. There's probably five or six tomatoes in here. Like that. I want to leave it just a little bit of chunk in here. So, we, so you don't do it a lot, so you get um, chunks of tomatoes in there. Yep. Nice. Okay, so. Very nice. Very nice. So we're going to stir around our sauteing stuff a little bit more. Stir up a little bit more. You see that garlic is getting kind of brown there. There you go. Time to add the. Time to add the tomatoes. I'm going to add a dash more olive oil to stuff. I'm going to drop things too. She likes to drop things. I don't really like to drop things, but occasionally I drop things. So this here is a olive oil that you can get at your Whole Foods or other stores. It's uh, totally organic, see? 100% Italian. Extra virgin olive oil. It's a 365. It's the Whole Foods brand. And then this is going in. This is going in. And like I said yesterday, normally I would just do tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. Um, but there's, you know, there's a lot of people coming here. So because I have to make so much food, I just decided that I would add a couple of cans. Still organic. And, the, and these so, leafy stuff here? That's basil. That's going to go in there as well. Fresh basil, organic again. So remember, we know. I'm going to save a little of this for the soup also. So. A lot of the stuff we're making here is totally going to be for flavor and not There's exactly for maximum tomatoes. nutrition. Some of my fresh tomatoes there. This looks delicious. And, um,. Is for ceremonial purposes and enjoyment, you know. So you do the best you can. Remember, oh, don't basil. punish yourself on this stuff. Enjoy your food. Love your food. I want, I'd like to mention something here about because I'm gonna I'm gonna get the soup started. Um, I noticed that with organics that you get a lot more flavor. And I think it also has something to do with having a cleaner diet, that you taste the food differently. Um, you're actually tasting the food. So when I make soups, I don't really, I'm going to show you what I use for a base. I, it's, it's like, no big deal. Uh, compared to what I used to do when I would make a soup, you know. So those are sautéing good. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. I'm going to put it up to about five. I want to get it going. And these are still sautéing in here, right? Yeah, let me take a look at these. Going just a little brown too, right? Yeah, not just a lot. Edges. You're just kind of getting the flavor. Flavors this is going to be our around. sauce. It's going to be our soup. We need so, some intriguing vegetables here. What do you got? Well, let me show you. I'm going to make the base of the soup now. Let me get this water over here. Uh, distilled water we use for everything. We have a distiller that's broken right now, which is why we have plastic jugs. So we're going to pour the water right in here in our soup. How much water there is in there? I'm going to put more water, but first I'm going to show you. So this isn't even the soup. This, this is, is the base. Soup. This is the base. So I'm going to put a little bit more sea salt in there. Couple of pinches, right? Couple of pinches, and then you can always 
change it, add more to taste. This is really the secret, I think, is this nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is a, is, is a good yeast. As yeah, it's opposed a great to yeast. People think yeast, you know, they think of uh, candida and all that stuff. And I put a couple of scoops in there, and again, I can just add more later if I want. I'm going to start to turn this up. Not only is it, is it good for you, you know, of course, in the right amount, but it tastes like cheese. It gives it things a cheesy taste. Isn't it's really that right? good on popcorn. <laughs> it's my favorite. Um, okay, these are our beans that we soaked last night. Uh, if you could see, they're, you could see that they've uh, absorbed some water, that they've mm. kind of puffed up. So you have to soak your beans overnight if you're going to make them in soup. So what I did is I soaked them overnight. I got up this morning and I rinsed them really good. Uh, and what I have in here are white cannellini beans and I have some potatoes, some Yukon gold potatoes. The secret to my soup is... Shh, I'm just going to share this with you, okay? Is I'm going to cook this stuff for a little while until the potatoes start to get soft and the, um, the beans get a little soft before I add any of this. Um, and I get a potato masher and I mash up, not all of it, but I mash some of it up real good. And what it does is it makes the base of the soup and makes it thick. And it's delicious. Um, and then after I do that, I'll, you know, it takes probably an hour or so before I'll do that. You know, you got to just check your stuff when you're cooking it. After that, then I'll add all of these things. Uh, and what I have in here is a cauliflower. I have carrots. I cut everything up ahead of time. I have some, these are purple potatoes. I have a regular mushrooms and then I have some portobello mushrooms in here and what else do I have? Carrots. I have zucchini and I have some celery still in here and I have some leeks that I cut up that you can't see there. This is what the leeks are going to look like. So anyway this is going to be an amazing delicious soup and uh, and I'm going to go ahead and dump this stuff in here now with some more water and get it boiling. So we're going to continue this. I'm going to, uh, when the sauce is done, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how to make the lasagna and the ratatouille. So I got to go because I got to cut more vegetables now. So Merry Christmas, part two. Uh, and we'll come back in a little while and we'll do another video. We're going to get to that great cheese. We're going to get to the cheese too. I'm going to talk about the almonds in the next video. Ooh, right. Diana's famous almond cheese. Because we soaked our almonds last night. And then I'm going to show you guys how to, what the next step is too. All right, got to go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'm going now. Now I'm going. Okay, this is it. Goodbye. Going.